Day 16. This is the prophecy. Isaiah 6, verses 9 to 12. He said, Go and tell this people, Keep on listening, but do not perceive. Keep on looking, but do not understand. Render the hearts of this people insensitive, their ears dull, and their eyes dim. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and return and be healed. Then I said, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until cities are devastated and without inhabitant. Houses are without people, and the land is utterly desolate. The Lord has removed men far away, and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land. This is the fulfillment of the prophecy. Matthew 13, verses 13 to 17. Therefore, I speak to them in parables, because while seeing they do not see, and while hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. In their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is being fulfilled, which says, You will keep on hearing, but will not understand. You will keep on seeing, but will not perceive. For the heart of this people has become dull. With their ears they scarcely hear, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise they would see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and return, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. For truly I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see, and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Much of Jesus' teaching ministry was in parables, which are little prophetic instruments meant to drive the hearer to insight, awaken the conscience, and inspire action. After the parable of the sower, Matthew 13, verses 1 to 9, it became evident that not everyone understood Jesus' message. Even his disciples were struggling to grasp the purpose of his instruction, prompting them to ask, Why do you teach in parables? In response, Jesus turned to the Scriptures, using words from the prophet Isaiah to illuminate his method of teaching. Isaiah was commissioned to warn Israel that swift judgment would come if they didn't repent and turn from their evil ways. Much like the idols they worshipped, Israel had become unresponsive to God, lacking the ability to see and hear his warnings. Repentance was only possible for those with open hearts and ears to hear and eyes to see. Similarly, Jesus spoke of four conditions of soil that would yield different harvests depending on the condition of the heart of the hearers. For those without ears to hear, parables conceal more than they reveal. Hearing without resulting action or insight would fail to produce repentance leading to judgment. Through his explanation of parables, Jesus indicated their reception of his message would be evidenced in the fruit that was produced as a result of grasping his message. Responding to Jesus' message with obedience was crucial for experiencing the healing and fulfillment of God's promises. Today's Reflection How is the soil of my heart today? Are there areas that need to be addressed so that I can remain in a state of continually hearing, receiving, and responding to God's Word in my life?